So in this video, we are going to continue exploring this standard 6NS4, which is in the number system domain. And again, the, in this content cluster, the key words here, it says to compute fluently with multi-digit numbers and find common factors and multiples. So this standard is really about becoming pretty proficient in working with numbers in these ways. Now, I've already done a video on greatest common factor already did another video on least common multiple and a video where I talked about distributed property. In this video we are going to continue working on this last part of the standard here. Um, but what I want to emphasize is multiple of a sum. We can agree that 1 plus 4 I lost my stylus, so I'm not going to be writing very neat in this picture in this video. Um, one plus four is a sum. Now, if we had another one plus four, that would be two one plus fours, and that could be written as two times one plus four. So that would be a multiple, two mul uh, a multiple of the sum one plus four. Okay, so let's use. Um, this example to talk about what does it mean to have a multiple of a sum. If we had the number 44, we could say that 36 plus 8 equals 44. Now, how can we express 36 plus 8 equals 44 in a different way so we are expressing it like a multiple of a sum? What we can do is think about how 36 is the same thing as 2 times 18. I'm going to use the dot sign for um, the multiplication. Well, it's, a symbol, it's just another symbol for multiplication here just because it's easier to write. So 2 times 18 equals 36. Now I also know that I can say 2 times something equals 8. 2 times 4 equals 8. Okay, so that is another way of writing 8 and 2 times 18 is another way of writing 36. So we could say 2 times 18 plus 2 times 4 equals 44. Now I still don't have a multiple of a sum. I need to have sums, um, a multiple of a sum, which can um, be a way of writing this equation differently. So instead of writing 2 times 18 plus 2 times 4, I am noticing that 2 is in common with both of these. I could take the 2 from both quantities and I could write it like this, 2 times, and then what's left is 18 plus, that's the symbol in, the, in between, 4 equals 44. Now just to double check that that actually works, because what I've done is I've taken the 2 from both quantities and I'm expressing it right here. 2 times 18 plus 4 equals 44. That is a multiple of a sum. 18 plus 4 is our sum. But let's double check and make sure that all that equals 44. So if I rewrite that as 2 times, what's 18 plus 4? I've got 22. Does 2 times 22 equal 44? And the answer to that is yes. And so I actually have here on this page several different ways to write 44, or several different equivalent uh, ways of writing 44. So let's take another example, and let's do 24 plus 20 equals 44. I notice that I'm using the same number here, 44, 44, and I'm just taking a different sum, 24 plus 20. How can we write a multiple of a sum to equal 44? Right here I only have one sum, but I need to have many sums. So let's do what I did before, and that is take this first number and let's rewrite it as a, um, a uh, multiplication problem. So 24 could be the same thing as 2 times 12. And 20 could be the same thing as 2 times 20, or 2 times 10, sorry. Now, I also have another way I can write a multiplication. I could say that 24 is also 4 times 6, and I could say that 20 also equals 4 times 5. 
But what I've done here is I've taken a factor that I know is the same with both of these numbers, and I found a times uh, multiplication problem that is equivalent to each number. So 2 times 12 and 2 times 10, 2 is in common with both of these. Now I also do that with 4. 4 times 6 and 4 times 5. So there's actually two different ways I can write a multiple of a sum for this particular problem. So let's take this one right here and let's bring it down here and let's expand this out. So 2, or I'm sorry, let's, let's uh, rewrite this problem. I'm going to write 2 times 12 plus 2 times 10 equals 44. I know that that will equal 44 because 2 times 12 is the same thing as 24, and 2 times 10 is the same thing as 20, and if I add those up, I should get 44. But now, let's show how I can, how I can rewrite this. If I take the 2 here and here, and I rewrite it right there, and then I write the sum that's left is 12 plus 10. What I have is a multiple of a sum. And just to double check that this works, 12 times or 12 plus 10 is 22. 2 times 22 would get me 44. Now let's say I'm going to back up all this. I'm going to erase this, and now I'm going to take the second version uh, here, 4 times 6 and 4 times 5. Let's, let's try doing the same thing, but with 4 times 6 and 4 times 5. So I'm going to rewrite the whole thing. I'm going to do 4 times 6 plus 4 times 5 equals 44. Again, these are just two different ways to write 24 and 20. And now let's take this 4 out and let's write the sum that's left. What I'm doing is I'm using distributed property to express a multiple of a sum. So now I have 4 times 6 plus 5. So I do, if I add 6 plus 5 up 4 times, I will get 44. And just to double check that, let's do 6 plus 5. What does that equal? Equals 11. And then 4 times 11 equals 44. So again, many different ways to write the same problem, but using the distributive property and using the multiple of a sum. So now let's go for a third example. Um, just to show that not all, like here I still have 44 again, but I have a different sum. And this sum doesn't have um, more than one way to write a multiple of a sum. Uh, as you'll see here, if I break down 30, 30 can be expressed as 2 times 15. And 14, if I take that 2 and see what 2 times what equals 14, I would get 2 times 7 equals 14. I can't actually find any other um, set, uh, multiplication problems that would equal 30 and 14 with the same factor. For instance, I know that 30 can also be 6 times 5, but 6 times something can't equal 14, and 5 times something can't equal 14. So that is not going to help me come up with another um, way of rewriting this equation. Um, and if I continue trying to explore um, and see if I can find any other multiplication problems where I had the same factor in both for 30 and 14, I'm not going to find one. So 2 times 15 and 2 times 7 are my only options. But again, just to show how that works, if I were to write it as a multiple of a sum, I can take this 2 and write it on the outside of the quantity that's left over, which is 15 plus 7, and then if I were to add this back up, 15 and 7 equals 22. And does 2 times 22 equal 44? And yes, it does. So again, that's another way to write it.